Howdy YouTube, I'm kind of tired, but I went to Texas Linux Fest recently. I got some cool Linux merchandise. And I got my, my Linux uh, measuring tape and my, my stickers. But, oh yeah, and the t-shirt and a $50 Linode web hosting coupon, which is kind of cool. Festival overall was uh, a little bit of a letdown. It was kind of small and there's a $40 entrance fee and it was very like uh, commercial red hatty focus versus uh, you know, free sort of, I mean, they did have an FSF booth, but it was a very commercial Linux fest. So now that, uh, that's not the reason you want to watch this video, though. The video, the reason is you want to see my reinventing the wheel program, I guess. So I'm going to show you my halfway finished Ranger-like implemented in Python file browser. So here's my little file browser thing. It's implemented in curses. It, um... You, know, you can go around, it has preview for the next directory, it has text preview. I tried to implement image preview, but it didn't really work out so well. You can select files, although it's not completely finished. In fact, right now it's really just a browser where you can make stuff yellow. But, you know, all the files are ordered and overall it works okay. And but that's not really the hard to implement part. The hard to implement part is uh, Curses really doesn't handle your any sort of uh, window resizing. So the column and line numbers change. So for that, I'll probably get into how the code works, but it works all right. You can like make it minimal, you can make it small, you can go around. Okay, so I guess let's go into a brief, oh, I should, brief demonstration about how the code works. Oh. So, it's importing uh, a few libraries. One of them is magic, which is used to pretty much just determine which uh, files are text files. So, weirdly, the program really doesn't start up here at the top. It, starts way at the bottom with the main method. So, the main method uh, pretty much defines the stuff, like there's actually three windows, like this, this stuff on the left is a window, and there's a right window, and then there's a little top window for the bar. And a uh, format select window is the function that actually writes everything to the screen. And it's a little bit lengthy, but it gets it done. And then at the bottom there's like, well, actually this is what happens first. I should have talked about this first. The uh, while loop here pretty much asks for uh, input characters. So it's detecting if a key's been pressed. It uses a uh, getch here, and if the uh, character's like key up or key down, it just it will pretty much do all the code for that. And it, one of the things it moves, for example, uh, key key down and key up, they move the selected file, which is pretty much just stored in an int, and all it does is uh, show it which one to highlight white, and then when you press space and go into the file selection code, what it will do is it will find that file and mark it, store it in an array, and update the uh, information on it because all the files, going back to the top of the code, are stored in these little objects I made which have file name, if the folder's hidden, if it's a folder, and the color to display it, and if it's selected. So with that, you can pretty much uh, 
highlight the files and tell the format function of what to color them. So one of the functions in file info though is format CWD. And what this does is it takes a window width, which is how it does the dynamic resizing for the left window at least. So it's store file name is the actual like it's just screenshots for example that'd be file name but the actual string is file name plus all the spaces attached to it it's probably more apparent with something that actually has a file size on it. it's not a directory so the uh, format cwd makes this format text stuff and if you go down to the bottom loop here there is a resize key. Let me type it in here. Ooh. Mm. Okay, where is it? Oh, key resize. So if it, the key's resize that updates all the window sizes. Oh, it goes through this loop every time, and every time it goes through the loop in the while loop, it'll actually call the um, format function and since everything's updated when it goes to format the select window it will get the new values and watch actually format everything to the right side. So I guess that sums up the basics of this. I mean, it isn't really too complicated at the moment. I mean it looks like a lot of code but there's some stuff here that hasn't been implemented yet. Like I want it to read the selected files from a, something stored in the temp directory. So if you were to open it on a second window, it would have all the information there. And you know, in the future, I want to add some like functions to it. Pretty much, I want to have it do all the basic directory stuff. Like let's make the uh, you know let's make it so you can copy and paste files, and maybe I'll add some interesting features like having it uh, use, like be able to use SCP for something, for sending over the files over the network quick, you know, quicker than actually just typing out the command each time. Uh, I mean, really, I just wanted to make like a fun project here and it was slightly inspired by my use of nano and not liking VI key bindings. So every, when I do add the key bindings that actually do stuff, it's gonna be like control K and like control U and stuff. It's gonna be cool, not VI key bindings. But um, yeah, it's a little bit of, oh yeah, I'm gonna clean up the code and I'll make a GitHub later. So I guess that sums it up and I hope you have a good week. Oh, and I guess uh, one other thing, um, I guess put in the comments if you want me to do uh, programming videos like this, I probably, you know, if you want me to do programming videos every once in a while, not like my only thing, but I uh, you know, was thinking about transferring into comp sci for graduate school and I need to actually get really fucking, like, sorry, I need to get really good at it really good like not like mis business major good or like but i need to be like actually able to make stuff really quick and you no know, data structures and shit so anyways um one other thing is uh what i was gonna say oh yeah uh i want to do a q a so put your questions down there and i'll answer them unless they're you know, I'll even answer, you know, I'll just answer all of them unless it's something that's going to be like not appropriate for YouTube. Because, you know, as much as I hate censorship, uh, I don't want to get censored by the censors. Anyways, peace, Q&A, bye.